Many of you probably already use a lot of different keyboard shortcuts to make things faster and easier, like Command Q to close an application, or Command Space to bring up Spotlight, and that kind of thing. But did you know that you can also set up some keyboard shortcuts that'll automatically type out longer phrases, or even entire paragraphs whenever you just type a few letters? It can be a huge time saver, and it's built into your Mac already. So if you type a lot of the same things over and over again, you're going to love this. Let me show you how to get it set up. The first thing you want to do is go up to the Apple icon in the upper left corner and click that and go down to System Preferences. Under System Preferences, choose Keyboard and then choose the second tab that says Text. From here you're going to see perhaps a few shortcuts that are already built in, but you can always delete those or add your own at any time. Let me show you a few that I already have made and how they work and then I'll show you how to add new ones that can save you even more time. I'm going to go ahead and open up a text document so you can see how this is going to work. So for example, let's say that I want to type the name of my graphics design company, Big Blue Designs, but I don't want to type the whole thing out. All I need to do is type BBD and space and it types it out for me. Or perhaps I want to write the website address of my company. So all I need to do is type W BBD and space and it types that out. Again, the same thing with PC Classes Online, PCO, or perhaps our website, WPCO, and it types it out for me. But that's just the beginning because you can program it to type out much longer phrases to save you even more time. Let me show you how a few of those would work. Let's say you've got a long piece of text, like perhaps a confidentiality statement that needs to go at the bottom of an email or a document. That's really easy. All you need to do is type it out somewhere and then go and copy it to your clipboard and then go back over here and click the plus icon and type in the short version you'd like and then paste the long version in the field right there. Then just click away from it and you don't need to save it. It'll automatically save it for you. And then just to test it out, we'll go back over here to the text document and see how it works. Now all I need to do is type C-O-N-F and space, and there's that large paragraph from just typing four letters. Let me give you one more example that would include multiple paragraphs and line breaks. We get a lot of email from people requesting text support, and unfortunately we can't help most people because there's just two of us here. So... I have an email that I like to send back that is worded exactly the way I want, but I don't want to type it out all the time. So once again, we'll do the exact same thing. We'll go and we'll type it out somewhere and then copy it to the clipboard and then go here and click the plus button. And I'm going to say PCO email and then I'm going to paste the content right over there. And now I'll go test it out back over here on the text document and I'll say PCO email and hit space. And now I've got the entire paragraph right there from just a few keystrokes. Now, there's one more thing I want to show you. Let's say that you want some line breaks or some paragraphs in this large piece of text here because, of course, it would look nicer. All you're going to do is go back into your paragraph and in each place where you'd like a line break or a new paragraph, simply hold down the option key and click enter or return to make a new line. That's the signal to the program that it needs to actually put a line break in there. Once you're done, you simply copy the text again with the line breaks in it and then paste it back into the text area and then click away from it and you're ready to go. These shortcuts work in many different native Mac applications, including things like Pages or Mac Mail and other third-party applications like Evernote. And if you have all of your different devices synced through iCloud, you'll find that all of these different shortcuts are available on all your devices. One thing I do need to mention, however, is that these shortcuts don't seem to work on every single application and it's a little irritating to be honest. For example, they don't work with Microsoft Word and they don't work with Google Chrome. So if you find out how to make them work there, let me know. Have fun playing with these shortcuts and see how creative you can get and how much time you can save. If you come up with some really cool uses for them, let me know in the comments below or on our Facebook page. Don't forget to click the like button below, subscribe to our channel, and you can also subscribe to our weekly email newsletter that will keep you up to date with all of the classes we have coming up in the weeks to come. 
Thanks for coming. Class dismissed.